wow this is really good okay hello guys Ivan here and welcome to new video so today we are here with the all new BMW X2 and this is the new stylish SUV from the BMW and in this video we will go and check out the exterior interior we'll go for a drive and I will tell you my impressions about the new X2 so if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to smash the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified for all upcoming episodes thank you very much for helping with the algorithm and now let's start with the video all right guys so here we are in the field I hope you can hear me because it's very very windy but I have a wind buff so the sound should be okay so here is the new X2 this is the all new model this is essentially the more stylish version of the X1 which is the entry-level SUV by the BMW and here we have like a launch spec in very beautiful fire red so this is a red metallic you can see here the metallic plaques and also LED lights you can see they are now on and also these daylight running lights these stripes this is the electric version the xDrive 30 also we have combustion versions and the top version is actually the 35i as is usually the case check out the interior here looks really nice two-tone we will check this shortly so uh, this is the coupe shape of the x1 so um, you can see the rear is nicely sloped it really depends from what kind of angle you are looking uh, at this car i prefer this one much more than the previous x2 this looks much better in my opinion if we compare these two models so let's check out here the rear we have now winter tires and smaller wheels these are 225 55 are 18 so 18 inches you can get 19 and also 20 check out here the lights so these are also arrows like in the front the car is really nice wipe it doesn't have a wiper because it's like a coupe design and overall feeling is really angular really out there design as it's uh, usual for BMW these days they will give you design which is uh, not your typical design you can see the shoulders here and what I really like is this like a boot lip which is quite large it gives the car more aerodynamic and more sporty feeling in terms of the design it definitely needs larger wheels to look proper in terms of the styling but these are okay for the well, for the winter so here is the version X drive 30 and I X2 if you have combustion then we don't have the I so in terms of the design changes uh, in terms of the combustion and electric with the BMW it's uh, the same basically with some small details but the whole shape is the same as uh, with the combustion or the electric unlike uh, different brands which can have completely different design for the electric and combustion versions so let me know what you like also here we have this sort of like a diffuser design going on also in the middle and here like a larger black trim pieces BMW logo has a blue surround that's because of the electric and also you can see the camera here also you can wash the camera but then i saw in different video that you have uh, marks of the washer fluid so i'm not going to do that right now and yeah i just uh, washed the car so it's uh, pristine clean here is charging port ac and also dc faster charging this can charge in half an hour like is usually the case with these top level uh, electric cars also black trim around the windows 
the mirrors are uh, body color and you can see nice M logo here by the way something is whistling here so uh, not actually sure uh, what so the whole car is like an angular design and uh, yeah I prefer this to the previous X2 for sure also the previous X2 had on the C pillar BMW logo if you remember um, A B C so here it had the BMW logo so now we don't have this anymore the door handles are flushed with the body so you need to open them from the lower part and you have these nice cuts here on the mirrors and also here in the front the grill is uh, this one is electric grill and with the combustion you have slightly uh, different one also this middle section is in black color like for example with the new x5 and x6 um, facelift versions also here near the grill it's blacked out this piece and also here we have these openings like air curtains so the air flows from the front towards the uh, towards the side of the car so it goes here as you can see okay and these are Pirelli's winter tires Pirelli these are winter winter 2 Sintrato okay so this is the grill arrows as well so everywhere you have these arrows this is new design uh, with the BMW and also have openings here these can open and close and the bonnet is also like angular with the design so BMW now has LEDs gone are the laser lights you can see the blue elements in the lights and two projectors so overall really cool design you can see the camera with assistant systems here as well so let me know what you think about this and we can go and check out let's go and check out the boot so obviously with the X1 you will have more boot space with the X2 it's cut down so it's sloped down with the X2 that's why we will have less you can check out the liters and cubic feet on the screen so you can open it not here maybe press here yes take it out so it's not bad honestly you can see it's quite large if I check this visually the boot pretty nice amount uh, of the space okay. also underneath we have charm charging cables and we can fold the seats 40 20 40 also here we have a shelf so you can put like a jacket here uh, something soft triangle uh, for the safety is here you can close the boot here with this button electrically of course all right guys so here is BMW keep up with M colors you can lock the car of course you can unlock here with this button and you can also open the boot here with this button and of course if you click it one more time then you can close the boot if you stop holding it will actually stop and then continue all right guys so let's go and check out the interior atlas gray and smoke white is the color choice for this particular car this is veganza perforated veganza is uh, vegan leather man-made leather also you can see red stitching here in terms of the m sport we have m sport steering wheel this one in leather and also harman kardon sound system you can see the door is shaking that's because of the wind also in terms of the trim decor let's hop in let's hop inside crazy wind outside 
All right, guys, and this is how the front looks from the back. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, so here we are in the interior. Let's turn on the vehicle. And we can see that we are here in the really nice interior. So this one, actually, let me show you. So this is the M Sport steering wheel. This whole cockpit is M Sport. And this one is also pretty nicely loaded. Let's turn off the AC for now. It can be deactivated, so we need to turn on the... Okay, so just to be quiet. The AC is quiet, but it now needs to cool down because it was standing for some time. So this is the M Sport steering wheel in leather. Smoke white and Atlas grey is the color combination for this interior. Veganza perforated. You can see perforation. Veganza meaning this is a man-made vegan leather. Also, you can see that uh, the leather is nice quality. This man-made leather with red stitching here, complementing the exterior color. Then we have M Sport steering wheel with M logo. Nice and thick to the touch. Very nice sort of uh, decor in these uh, like uh, triangles and mesh effect aluminium uh, decor for this car. You can choose different ones. Also, here is a smoke white. Harman Kardon is the sound system. It uh, works pretty nicely, I can tell you that. And I really like this layout with the two screens here. You can change the screen layout. So if you press here on the home. You can change the layout like this, one arrow, and then closer. So I quite like this one, this is my favorite. Then you can change content, can be reduced, journey data, range prediction, assist view, map. So many settings, I like, I like to keep it for now on the journey data. Then we have also head-up display settings, which you can see there as actually. Okay. All right. So in terms of the sunroof, I don't, I didn't find a way how to open it. So maybe this is not uh, available, not possible to open the sunroof. But the glass is tinted, more as you can see. So that's cool. Also, you can change uh, and uh, close the sunroof here with the sunshade. This one is almost not the see at all also have a setting here only to the half point it will open so interesting choices also I like this middle tunnel you can check the X1 um, review on my channel. This is just my GoPro band. You can see how much it can be stored here. Quite a shallow space. Why? Because look, we have here underneath, we have some huge space. So here we can store many things actually. So um, quite a huge amount. Also here we have the two USB-C ports, two cup holders, and you can store your phone and like lock it here, check it out. Wireless charger as well, nicely locked in the place. And what is this? This is a 12 volt socket. In terms of the settings of the AC, it's here in the lower section. So you can choose the display and leave it on auto right now it's on very low you can have low medium high very high okay and overall i quite like this uh, layout you have all then you have infotainment then vehicle recently used and digital premium with the my modes here you can change and uh, modes We have personal, sport, efficient, 
Expressio Relax and Digital Art. Also, this is a gear lever, so you need to press on the brake and you can change to drive, reverse, and here is a park. You have auto hold feature, and here we have a driver assistance, speed limit warning, and other settings. Iconic sounds. Here is a button for the cameras, so this car has a 360 camera. Let's check it out here. So we have a rear, we have auto right now. You can have here from the top, here from the side. And if I go into the drive, we will see the front camera. If I leave it here on auto. If we go to reverse, you will see the reverse. Now we are, uh, if I go to the D drive, we have front camera. Now we have rear. If we change, the steering input, you also change the lens and also it changes camera angle as you can see. Then we have panorama view, so you can have a wider view and assist view as well. And then we have also more, we have a car wash view, camera cleaning, 3D view, so you can see your car from different angles. We have two memory seats, seat positions. So now I will go and hop behind myself to check out how much room do we actually have here in the new X2. So let's go. All right guys, so let's go and check out the back seats. Also you have a button to open the boot and some door for kit. Also space for water bottle. These are basic stuff. Your mirrors, you can fold them, and also buttons for the windows. All right, guys, so let's go and check out the back seats. Let's hop inside. So I set the seat front as I would sit in the car. Let's close the door. Nice and solid sound. So here is how much room do we have here. You can fit here. It's not super spacious. It's not tight it's just the uh, right amount uh, for me to sit here and yes i can tag a little bit the feet under the seat i have a uh, seat as low as possible in the lowest settings all right guys so in terms of the headroom i have i would say how much is that this is about one inch i would say maybe less than that about one two centimeters so just i can fit here barely also the headliner is sloped in a way that I have uh, just the right amount here in terms of the headroom. So let me know what you think. I can fit here and um, this is just maximum amount for people like my height. I'm 180, 586 centimeters, 6 feet and 1 inch. So if you want to transport here kids, this will be plenty of space. If you need more headroom in the back, then consider getting the new X1, which will have definitely more headroom because of the SUV design. In terms of the ISOFIX, here we have ISOFIX in the back, so great for child seats. Also, here we have the armrest, you can fold it out and you have two cup holders adjustable, so the armrest is wide enough for two arms. And this is where the sunroof ends here, just above knee room, we can say, in the back. And this is uh, the airiness, thanks to the sunroof, it looks much more airy, the new X2, than without it definitely, so for me this is a must-have option. Alright guys, so let's go and try acceleration to 100 km per hour, let's go! Okay, so that was 5.6 seconds to 100 km per hour is the official time. And I have to say the car has a really nice pickup speed. We can try rolling. So from 50 km per hour, 30 miles per hour. Let's go. 
the response is immediate. You can also see the throttle in the head-up display, which changes with the sport mode. All right, guys, so welcome on board of the new BMW X2, and we will go for a drive, experience this car together. All right, guys, so welcome on board. So for me, this is an interesting experience, of course, and I hope for you too. This is the new model, BMW X2, which essentially is a coupe version of the X1. So if you want X1, but you say why, why X1, it's not uh, that stylish. We can close the sunroof for now. Then you can go and choose this, uh, the new X2. To be perfectly honest with you, I like both X1 and also X2. I need to I have here the sun visor. And for me, it's difficult to pick one uh, over another because I really like how the new X1 looks, but I also like this X2 with the sloping roof and it has a spoiler in the back. So uh, I really like that one as well. In terms of uh, driving character, I assume these are similar X1 and X2, same platform. This one is X-Drive. This version is the more powerful electric version called the X-Drive 30. So it's uh, all, all we drive X-Drive and 30 being the more powerful version. So we have 313 horsepower and acceleration from zero to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour takes only only 5.6 seconds so very fast in terms of the acceleration not, not super fast but of course very for daily driving this is plenty plenty of speed top speed is 180 km per hour usually with uh, electric cars it's uh, it's a uh, lower overall my first impressions I've been driving this car for one hour but not all the, all the time and uh, first impressions are really good so um, this car is uh, it's true that it is on smaller wheels only 18 inch so that means that uh, we have much more comfort than if we would have on 21 inch but nonetheless the on 18 inch I can tell you the suspension is really good we have M Sport adaptive uh, suspension also, we have uh, many stuff which you can find in modern cars, like the adaptive cruise control, which I can set here on uh, speed, and it will keep distance with vehicle in front. It works actually really well. You can also change it here in the mode to a classic uh, assisted driving, and also to limiter. So now with assisted driving, it can also steer automatically. Tell us you I should keep hands on steering. So we have full screen Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. And I have nice driving position, good visibility. Mirrors are really, really huge. This color is so nice, this red one, like a deep, orangey orangey red sort of co uh, color in terms of the range it shows me that on full range uh, when i picked up the car i had 300 kilometers shown now we have 272 kilometers on 94 percent so the suspension is on the firmer side that's true let's overtake this bus So this car picks up speed uh, very nicely and uh, as all electric cars very quickly but I have to tell you the tuning of the, the calibration of the system is really good I'm really impressed uh, by this car so uh, yeah really really good job BMW head-up display is really slim you have everything lying in one one horizontal line 
all information so it's not not uh, too huge and also it shows me that there will be 80 kilometer limit let's say if you do a change uh, the limit now we are entering the tunnel okay so it accepted the speed so it has full assistance system package split screen can be also on the CarPlay, we can see the ambient lighting in blue. Okay, so it didn't take over the speed. I have to manually change it. Maybe something with the settings. I'm not fully sure, so. Okay, so there is a button set. It shows me on the screen. So if I set, if I if I confirm the speed, it will take over the speed which was on the sign. So um, yeah, it has like a one step to confirm the speed limit. I also like the sitting position. Overall, my feeling is that like I'm in bigger car, like in X3, uh, this kind of uh, C-segment SUV. Even though this is front-wheel drive, it has a very good uh, yeah, very good calibration. We can say. Now I confirmed set once again. We are accelerating to 100 kilometers per hour. So now on the highway, really, really fantastic experience in the in the X2. Also, what I noticed immediately is that the, the noise vibrations in the car are really low. So uh, this whole car is pretty silent. And uh, that was a surprise because this is entry-level SUV basically uh, together with the X1 and then we have X3 and then Top Dogs X5, X6 and of course the largest one being the, the X7 Also we have blind spot monitor here So we will do here highway driving and then we will continue also in the new cars you have the limiter for the speed which is based on the speed in the car so not on the GPS speed you can disable that in the in the menu as well so I very roomy feeling here also because of this middle tunnel i have so much space here it's like very airy and this middle console is also really great for resting my arm really good actually i'm being i noticed it immediately this that it's very nice to have my right arm the ergonomics are really good for this car Also, if the truck is even a little bit in your lane, it will slow down to be sure, so the system is really precise. So here we have values since uh, individual. So we have uh, 20 kilometers driven and so far 19.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on average. Which I think it's, it's, a, it's a good consumption. We can now accelerate to 130 km per hour. If I click set, it will accept. Now it will accelerate. We can also try manually, go to 80, which is the lowest, and try here the pull, the acceleration. So let's go. And we have also this, not one, I don't want to say electric sound, but uh, we can say that actually. Uh, many electric cars have this uh, this kind of sound I didn't look if I can disable it or not today I have to tell you it's really windy the whole week the wind is really really strong but I can hear the wind I don't really feel the wind hitting the car as much so uh, because of the lower center of the gravity 
and overall balance of the car is pretty solid so um, yes also in this in this feeling I have to tell you that this is really well uh, calibrated uh, as well so first impressions of driving on a highway really nice so if you hear the noise it's the wind today is really really strong wind the steering wheel I like the feel it's not it's not too light not too heavy so just the right amount and also it can change direction really well we will have here some turns so we'll try how this car will react uh, to that infotainment system you can change information on the screen is not super customizable like some other cars where you can change completely the look so here you can widen or make it more narrow and then change the information uh, in the middle I really like the um, rear view mirrors they are really huge and also the AC works really nice it's, it's quiet we'll go off the highway we'll do a little bit highway as well and then we'll go for some country roads and some small villages so let's go and try if I can find it my modes and sport okay dynamic setting for pure driving pleasure okay so let's try this okay my jacket is flying in the back wow wow this is really good okay wow I'm actually quite surprised by this so the car was really strong in the corners and also it's really really composed in the in the corners is not leaning that much considering we have 18 inch wheels with bigger tire wall so um, that's not ideal for the cornering but nonetheless uh, really good we have some little bit more corners here as well but overall really good good uh, result for the BMW also if you lift the region is not very strong I would say it's it's on the lighter side and also the damping you don't really feel uh, the road much Okay, so this will be nice. I really like this corner. The tires are squealing, but the car is holding nicely. I don't even feel the G forces that much. Nice. I would maybe even turn off the sounds uh, electric sound if it's possible in the car I don't really need that um, this sort of artificial like a space sound but let me know in the comments what you think about that now through the rails once again you can feel that it's firm but it's not like a harsh on your on your body you don't feel the, the g-forces much now driving really relaxing for sure
Yeah, this car is a surprise for me. Now we will enter the city here. So usually in the cars, I sometimes hear the AC like blowing the the fan, which I don't like. I, I want AC to be so silent that I cannot hear it. Maybe if I'm driving without podcast, without music, maybe you can hear it a little bit. But ideal scenario is when, of course, it's cooled down already, the interior. Once the interior is cooled down, then you don't hear the AC, which in this case is, is true, so I don't hear it, I can feel it, but uh, yeah, I don't hear it, you can change it here with the vent, and I like to lower it a little bit so it doesn't blow that much. And I drive this route with many cars, so this is like my go-to route, uh, not for all test cars, but for many test cars, so I can compare nicely. Let's try here if we can hold the 30 kilometer. Okay, so it can hold 30 kilometer, no problem. And look, it works very really nicely, it can steer. Of course, the car needs to see lines painted on the road, but uh, otherwise it can see that, no problem. So I don't need to wiggle with the steering wheel. It can recognize that I'm holding it. And yeah, overall I'm, uh, I quite like this head-up display. I usually don't use the head-up display at all, because for me, I don't know, I'm not used to them and I don't really use heads-up display in any cars, doesn't matter which brand. Okay, and you have some other settings here when you are driving uh, with assistant driving. So I quite like the layout with two screens. To me, this is something what I really enjoy. So I have many settings on the steering wheel. It looks like it's not many buttons here, but if you learn how to control this, it's actually not difficult at all. So uh, yeah, it's true. The, the car is so quiet. Listen, we can be barely hear and the car actually driving by. I don't want to lower the windows right now because I watched the car just uh, half an hour ago and it could be still wet so I don't want to lower it but it's so silent this silent cabin of this is really more than you would expect and it's not even because of the electric drive I can tell you because I was driving electric cars it has to be noise isolation uh, even better level than in some other cars This feels like a luxurious car, because it's not noisy. Maybe it could be because of the tires, but tires are not everything, because we are hearing passing cars, that's not about the tires. And I cannot hear the tires at all. Just tiny, tiny bit. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. roundabout here and then also we have the combustion versions of the X2 and also X1 the top version is uh, X-Drive 30 M30i which is 2.0 liter 
more sporty oriented vehicle. We have many, many versions to choose from, also diesel. So uh, that is really great. So let me know your first impressions in the comment section down below of this X2. So we are in the driver's screen, we can change this, we can go to layout, and now we can change the layout of the, of the display. This one has like a stripes on the side, then we have these like arrows, similar to the LED lights. And then we have arrows which are closer together. So for me, I like this the most because the speed is closer to the middle. In terms of the content, you can also have the speed here. So you have reduced, this is called the reduced. Then we have journey data, range prediction. Also, you can see the range always here. Assisted view, this is the screen where you see the car in front in terms of the assisted driving. Oh, it works nicely also through the roundabout. So that is nice, but this roundabout is not too sharp. So once again, the braking with the vehicle in front is really smooth, it's, it's top notch, it's like a limousine level, I would say. You don't feel anything, it brakes and accelerates super, super smoothly, like a like huge limousine. And then in content we have a route preview, it will show you direction and then if you have input in the route. Uh, we have map, so you can have map here as well, which is nice, but I use the Apple CarPlay uh, ways usually. And yeah, also you can see here the roundabout. So it actually knows that we are on the roundabout, which is uh, very good. So now we are driving. Okay, so for me, this is pretty slow, but it's safe for many people. And uh, if you want to be like super, super smooth, super good, then uh, yeah, why not? This is a better way to drive. And it shows me also that we are on the, I think, pavement. And now we are accelerating on the speed limit, which here is uh, 100 km per hour. Really, really superb mm, driving. Also, you can have media, radio, so like a podcast or music. And yeah, that's it in terms of the driving. Right now we are on 19.2. I quite like also this one is reduced. You can see a large speed and uh, that could be enough. You can also you can see these like uh, slats in like a uh, bronze color. Also, we can try this one. And uh, on this one as well, with one stripe. Okay, so one thing what I noticed is you can preset like the speed when it shows you on the screen. So we'll, we should arrive now. Okay, we will, I, I know. We'll arrive here at the 70, check it out, 70 to the dot, so exactly like it should be. And you can pre-select that if you, if you want to accept the speed limit right now as well. I can accept uh, 100, so now it will start to accelerate, let's go, okay, so very nice. You can also see the power uh, on the right side, 100%, how much you are using, 
and the speed is on the left arrow. We can try steer here in the corner. Okay. Now it's 70, but many cars don't have it here. Why? Because it's uh, temporary, it's not fixed speed. We also tested the brakes, which are really well calibrated and the, the, the pedal feel of the brakes is really, really good. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know how you like the new BMW X2 in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.